Okay, a few uh, things, um, kind of miscellaneous, um, but uh, in terms of access control, we mentioned, um, th you know, think about access control in terms of the, uh, identification, um, we, you know, there will be various forms. Um, do you have a uh, photo ID? Um, do you have identity cards just with the name? Uh, possibly with a number that can be checked. Um, all the things that we talked about in access control, uh, you know, card access, swipe cards, proximity cards, different types of swipe cards. Uh, I can remember one place that had uh, swipe cards that um, had magnetized pins in them. And unfortunately, the fact that it had metal, you know, small metal rods in the card meant that the cards would break along those lines. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, biometric access can be used for physical security as well. And again, you know, access logs, um, who do we know uh, that is... Uh, getting into our facility, keeping records of, of that sort of thing um, with, uh, you know, smart cards and those types of things. Uh, we can automate the access control, uh, you know, or we can have logbooks. Um, so, uh, again, you know, we've, we've dealt with this in access control. Um, basically, uh, pretty much all the same technologies are uh, possible to use in physical security. Uh, now, uh, some of the uh, factors, uh, the physical factors, the fact that we are dealing with physical uh, systems, um, we have to deal with the environment and uh, uh, environmental management, uh, to ensure that our computers are going to operate properly, starting with uh, air conditioning, uh, heating, ventilation, air conditioning. Um, there is going to be, uh, you know, issues of, of temperature. Um, we have to do uh, cooling sometimes, and, and of course, depending on uh, how much processing power you've crammed into a small enough space, uh, it, it can be non-trivial. You know, we can have uh, water cooling. We can have uh, air conditioning systems. Um, we can have fans. Uh, I can remember um, when uh, Deck brought out the uh, Alpha chip and uh, uh, the first... Um, sort of desktop or rather desk side because they were fairly large machines that they built with those as a CPU. Um, they had a cooling stack on the CPU that was about the size of a, a motorcycle piston. And I can remember the following year, uh, they had a laptop. And I was saying, how do you get the laptop with, you know, all the cooling requirements? And he opened it up and showed me this just, you know, uh, uh, extra fins on uh, the CPU and that was all uh, that they needed the technology had developed um, so far in that one year um, anyway uh, so uh, air conditioning uh, when we have air conditioning um, we fairly often uh, recommend that the air conditioning for the machine room be separate so that you are not in contention with uh, air conditioning requirements for the rest of the building if there's a heat wave um, and having uh, brought that up in one of the seminars um, uh, one of the attendees said he uh, worked for a casino and yes they did have separate air conditioning and, and one time during a heat wave in Las Vegas, um, they were told, they were directed to redirect the air conditioning from the machine room to the casino floor. And they fried um, 
a hundred thousand dollars worth of telecommunications equipment that overheated uh, because of that. Now, uh, this goes back to risk management because remember, this is a casino and they're pulling in so much money by having uh, extra air conditioning on the floor and therefore having more uh, uh, people preferring to gamble in their casino as opposed to the other casinos that $100,000 worth of telecommunications equipment is a drop in the bucket. So, uh, you know, there's... You always have to look at your own situation uh, for all of these things. Um, so... Um, Humidity. Uh, computers do not like uh, water, and that goes for uh, little tiny mists of water or, or little tiny drops of water that get into little tiny circuits. Uh, we're cramming things closer and closer together. So humidity is also something that you have to control. Dust is something that you have to control. Now, this is not... Um, oh as big an issue um, as it used to be. We used to have uh, situations where um, the, the dust and, uh, you know, even air particulates, um, so, uh, well, even uh, smoke particles from smoking cigarettes, um, those particles were uh, big enough to uh, negatively impact um, uh, disc reading and writing uh, because of the, the spaces uh, uh, between the head and the platter. The, um, with the fact that more and more of our stuff is, um, uh, has no moving parts, um, is sealed up, um, we are uh, less concerned with dust. On the other hand, I can remember uh, one company uh, was doing the technical support uh, got a call from somebody who said that they were having a problem doing the installation and uh, in order to uh, figure out the version that they had in case that uh, did anything, I uh, asked, well, you know, you put the, the blue floppy disks in and he said brown. I said, what? He said... Uh, well, sorry, that's a joke, you know. The machine that we've got, we're installing this on, has been sitting in the truck bay for five years, and every disc we put in comes out brown. I said, I think I know what your problem is. So, uh, you know, dust, um, all of these types of things. But, yeah, we've, we've got um, the environment that we need to, to protect. And... Uh, uh, and then we go on to power, and, and I guess we'll talk about that next time.